Hi, my name is Michael. This is a test recording. When you log into your Sci-Fi router, first thing you want to do is go to the Advanced Settings. Enter. Your primary setup page is where you are going to set your LAN IP for the default IP address, which is fine for most people. Just leave it in default if you don't know how to set up or configure your router. Most important part when you log into your Cypher router the first time, if you're an Altel customer, you use your phone number at altel.net, which is proprietary or locked to whatever ESN and data card, so it really isn't important whether or not you see someone else's phone number. The DNS is, I think, standardized nationwide now, so you'll use these two here. I'm not absolutely for sure about that, but everywhere I've gone personally on the East Coast, it's been the same. Those the same uh, people manage the 3G EVDO network, so it really doesn't matter. All right, something else you can do, the DHCP page is here. You can set the starting and ending IP pool addresses, which for those of you who don't know what this is, is the ending occlet of your IP range, which is on the primary over here, so you know your 192.168.123 and your login is 254. So that means 50 to 199 is usable per your settings on this page here. Most people will enable DHCP, Dynamic Host Challenge Protocol, and it's just where the software will automatically assign you an IP address to your computers. Um, so if you want to set this to 10 to 300 or what have you, you can. Um, I wouldn't go too extravagant because most people aren't going to have that many computers in their house anyhow. So now, everyone loves Wi-Fi. Click wireless. Leave this disabled. Actually, I have no clue what WMM capable is, but all I know is when you enable it, Wi-Fi doesn't work too swift with my uh, laptop. I, I tried to enable it. I don't really have a... I'm just not interested to go find out what it is. I could probably give you a speech about it next week if someone was interested. But leave this disabled. Enable the wireless. Name it if you want. Channel 11, as we all know, normally works best. It's above most cordless phones in your house. Um, you can use security. If, if you use security, just use like WEP and 64-bit, keep it easy, and use something like your telephone number, which will be the right amount of digits, like 252, 222, 1234, for example, and that would be a 10-digit um, number that would be easily remembered. In most cases, hey, who cares? It's only an access point. Look. If you're so paranoid you think someone's going to come and try to steal your files, oh my god, I get so tired of people and passwording everything, like, what's the need? If you have nothing to hide, share your internet. Okay, and there's tons of other stuff. Virtual server, special applications, incoming outgoing points, trackers, DMZ, this little sci-fi router, I do about everything, any links this will do, packet filters, domain filters, URL blocking, Mac control. Um, really? I don't use any of these other settings. On the advanced, however, there is a bunch of dynamic DNS. You might want to use this if you use a static IP and dynamically have your router update the information with dynamic down a DNS or whatever. That's if you have to have a static IP for some device or gadget at your house. Um, it's got QoS, nifty little router, performance, I mean it'll do about anything you can think about or really want to do. And you can increase, oh yeah this is neat, you can increase or decrease the DB gain or power to your Wi-Fi antenna. That's a good little feature. So you can trim it back if you got neighbors who just love to get on your Wi-Fi a block and a half away and drain your bandwidth. System log, of course, you know, you can tell it to email a system log. Um, you know, uh, I should really do try this. I haven't tried this yet, but that looks interesting. I, I might 
try to set that up. All right, on the toolbox box, the most important thing over here is the firmware upgrade, which I've already done to my router, as you can see. I'm sporting the latest one. But you just browse, select the bin file, and there you go. Hit upgrade. You can get that from Cypher.com. Um, really important one a lot of people use is this reboot feature. And basically how you get there is let's log out. You log in. Simplest way to get there is hit status, advanced, toolbox, reboot. Keeps you from having to unplug the thing when you lose internet connectivity and you need to make it dial back up. Try that for size and let me know what you think and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.